All right, friends, welcome or welcome back. My name is Becky Truda and I'm with Minimal Ease. Today, I'm going to be doing a declutter and clean out of my car behind me. So if you like these kind of videos about sim simplifying your life and decluttering and minimalism, then please hit that subscribe button and join. <music> All right, so this is a whole family affair here. My husband's over there <laughs> helping me clean and my daughter is in the back. But the first thing you wanna grab is make sure that you get a nice big basket because I know I'm gonna find trash and I'm also gonna find treasures that need to go back inside. So this one is really nice because it has a large side depending on how much trash you have and then it has little pockets for other things that you need to bring inside or put somewhere else. This is just a great uh, resource for me. So I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna start with vacuuming while my husband is doing the um, wipe down. All right, now I'm just gonna go through the middle part of my car, which is usually a dumping zone. So let's see what we got in here. I have some masks. Um, <laughs> this is an awesome band if you've never heard of them. They're called Dharma Bombs. And I heard them when I was really pregnant with my daughter and they were awesome. And it's kind of like her lullaby, <laughs> some of the songs, but they're pretty silly. And then I have cords that I don't need anymore. Um, my husband doesn't usually ride in this car. We usually take his because his is the electric car. So we don't really need his cords in here. So I'm gonna put those inside. I don't even know what this is, but I think it's a power inverter. I'm, I don't think I need that. I have not used that in a long time. One more mask. This is my ID holder for when I work. And let's see what else we have in here. This I think I used when I was having a nurse with my daughter, but I obviously don't need that anymore. So we might sell that or give it away. And then more cords, yay. <laughs> and then um, some napkins I like to keep in here just in case. And then a pair of scissors just in case, which I know that's a bad word for a minimalist, but you know, sometimes scissors are helpful. This is a sunscreen and I'm going to see, I really only need maybe two pens in here. There's another pair of my daughter's sunglasses. So I'm going to take out any of the extra pens. Uh, gift card, more pens, more electronic stuff. Notepad, random, sorry, flies on me random bracelet. All right, so I got a handful of trash, a handful of not. I really think two pens, because um, a lot of times we'll be last minute and we'll be writing cards in the car on the way to birthday parties. Scissors, some sunblock, my ID. Uh, they actually don't actually even need this CD anymore because you can get it um, they're famous enough now where you can get this and listen to this band, um, 
on your phone. So I really actually don't need that. Her sunglasses and some rat, um, tissues. And I still like to keep masks just in case. You never know. Richmond is getting bad again. So hopefully that won't turn into anything. But yeah, that's everything that's in there. So now it is nice and simplified. There's not so much junk in it. All right, so we've done most of the inside now. We're almost done, but I vacuumed everything. I took out the um, liners that go at the bottom of the car and I shook them out and I vacuumed them. I actually used my uh, dog's brush to try and get some of the dog hair and my hair out of the rug because the vacuum wasn't working very well, which actually works pretty well if you wanna try that. Use a dog brush. Um, and now we're just doing the finishing touches of like wiping everything down, making sure we didn't miss anything. Um, but yeah, we're almost done. So then I'm going to show you all the things we pulled out and all the trash and some interesting things that I found in there. All right, so we finished up cleaning the inside of my car. It was quite the journey and I'm very sweaty now, so I'm glad it's over and I'm glad we did it early in the morning. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of the treasures I found and some of the really wacky weird things that I found in my car because I found that I'm not super clean in my car. I, I use my car as like plan A or, you know, plan A, plan B here and there. And I often don't stop to like take stock of what's in there or clean it out or whatever so it's something I definitely need to get better at but you know I did it today so goal made all right so I'm gonna quickly just go through some of the random things I found um, and I'm sure you probably have some of these in your car so just like random bags that I always want to use when I go out and buy stuff but I always forget them because they're in the back of my car so I'm terrible at that if it's not in my bag I will not um, I will not use them. So here's a rug that I've been meaning to donate for a while. Um, just sitting in my car, wasting time away. I like to keep a blanket in my car at all times, just in case um, something was to happen or if my daughter takes a nap. So that's our blanket, but that needs to go in and be washed. And then funnily enough, we found this random shoe, which is my husband's shoe. And it was under my seat. And for the longest time we thought he had lost it. And um, we had, he had lost it when we came back on the plane and now lo and behold here it is there you go <laughs> he doesn't need it anymore obviously because we got rid of that one since that was months and months ago this is awesome this is uh what my daughter uses when she sleeps in the car if you have a baby that sleeps in the car or a toddler uh it's called nido it's amazing it's this like squishy material it's like the perfect size for a pillow um so that goes in the car but that also needs to be washed with the blanket and then just a bunch of trash as usual. And then here are just some treasures that either need to be donated. I'm gonna donate that. I found some gift cards. That's always an exciting thing. So I think I'm gonna put these in my husband's car because we use these the most. And then there's like just keys. This underwear I might actually put back in the car because it's always nice with the toddler. There's some of her toys, some random receipts my husband wanted me to keep for a while. This little cute pen that needs to go in her room and the little car she got for Buzz Lightyear. So that's a wrap guys, that's it. I hope this video has inspired you to go out and clean out your car. You never know what's in there. You might even be finding that shoe that you thought you've lost for months and you find the other one under your seat. Uh, anything can be in there. And if you're like me, a lot of times things just stay in there forever because you just don't take the time to clean out your car like you do your house. Um, so 
That was a great adventure for me and I hope you enjoyed it.